you know, for me, I just identify as a woman, you know, and that a trans is just a label. And so I think that if we could all just identify as how we want to be, I think it would just make life so simple. Hey guys, it's me Drew, so I'm back with another video. So Drew Ashlyn Cunningham is a makeup artist, vlogger and model. She's also a trans woman. Um, I'd always kind of known from like a really young age that there was something different. Um, I guess when I got to about eight years old, like, you know, I, I get called gay all the time. And I think as I got older, I started to question more about myself and I was like, I want to be a woman. Drew is one of up to 500,000 trans people living in the UK. I kind of like knew for definite about the age of 14, 15. So then obviously that led to me like going to counselling and seeing like a psychologist and, and being referred to like a gender clinic. Um, and then I kind of got the ball rolling. So while I was waiting to be seen by the gender clinic, I just started living as a girl. Since the Gender Recognition Act of 2004, people have been able to legally change their gender. But groups like Stonewall say the process of obtaining an official gender recognition certificate, which requires rigorous medical assessments, is long, demeaning and costly. In the last 14 years, only 4,910 people have done it. Do you have a gender recognition certificate? No, I don't. <laughs> um, Why is that? I guess like just changing my name, changing my documents was more than enough for me. I don't understand why it is so difficult to get a gender recognition certificate or just to be seen as the person that you want to be. We've set out plans to reform the Gender Recognition Act because being trans is not an illness and it shouldn't be treated as such. And this summer, as promised, the government launched a consultation on making it easier to self-identify. It's a proposal which has enraged some feminists. Some women who are opposed to the idea of self-identification say that it could actually threaten women's rights, that it would mean that we couldn't have women-only spaces anymore. What would you say to that? I, I would feel a bit upset if I wasn't included in a women's space because I don't identify as anything else and I don't think you could put me in that label of she looks more like a man, you know, I think I, I look more like a woman and I, you know, the way I think to me is more like a woman. It would be nice one day if we can all be, you know, equal. <laughs> Drew's been a makeup artist for around eight years. Denver is one of her best clients. I'm just using like an orange tone because it'll really help like make her eyes stand out. Denver, did you always know that Drew was trans? It's never really even crossed my mind really. Drew no. was just Drew. His makeup is, it's like a mask, you know? Do you yeah. think so? Is that yeah. How you think about it? Makeup can enhance you, but I think for me it, it is a mask because I'm hiding like, you know, who I am behind it, if that makes sense. And I feel like people will view me differently because they'll see something, you know, that I want them to see. So how do you feel about the women who still don't consider you to be a woman? I think everybody is entitled to their own opinion. If someone doesn't want to see me as a woman, they're entitled to that. But I don't want someone to, to bring that negativity onto my life. I mean, it upsets me anyway, because all I want is to just be seen as normal. Like many trans women, Drew says on a day-to-day -day basis, she and her friend Natalia are accepted as women. Oh, is this you? Yes, that was me before, so they did like my nose. They already use women's changing rooms, women's loos. The main topic that does come up is the bathroom. Yeah. If you're making it such an issue, that's your own insecurity. insecurity. Imagine us just walking in to like a male bathroom. You know, it, it would be so <laughs> awkward. Who's the one in danger there? Trans activists say on the ground, updating the Gender Recognition Act would bring few practical differences, but it would be fairer to a minority who face daily discrimination. We've accepted, you know, you know, LGB rights, but I think the T is kind of left out. Feminism is all about equality. For people who aren't fighting for the T community, it just goes to show that maybe they're not a true feminist. You know, everyone thinks it's all about equality for women, but it's actually equality for everybody. 